Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing the lineup construction video for uh, UFC Paris. For those of you that have been following, we did a video earlier today where it just kind of went over the best plays. I did give a couple of teasers with respect to what I thought were, you know, be good leverage spots when we started to build these things. Um, and then we did the kind of ridiculous contrarian betting breakdown. So it looks as though... Uh, unless Aline Perez is deemed unfit to fight because of her performance on the scales that we're probably going to have 14 fights, which is, I don't know if we've had 14 fights in quite some time, which means that you don't have to do that much uh, nonsense to get unique lineups. Uh, it's still not easy, but you still, but you don't have to leave 5,000 on the table. You don't have to do geo mean filtering where you force in low ownership even if the lineup has no chance to win, you could probably just get what you need by doing having decent projections, decent takes on the fights, knowing who the best plays are, and this kind of running the Sims uh, with that in mind. Um, so what we're going to give you guys, well, I'm going to give you guys a couple of ideas as I kind of talk through them on on what types of you know builds you can kind of look at. So I updated the. I put the projections in and let's just do a, a, a just a quick, you know, sanity check. Make sure that nothing's completely off be off base here. Um, I like to compare mine to Saber Sims to make sure there's nothing completely off the wall. And I'm pretty close to what Saber Sim has as far as my projections. I'm a little higher on, a, on some fighters, a little lower on some, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, as far as ownership goes, and that's going to come into play when we do certain different sorts. Um, let's look like my ownership compared to Saber Sims is, I mean, I have St. Denis higher, Omar Sy higher, but then I have a couple of guys lower. I mean, Oki, I have a little bit lower. And saber sim or whatever so I'm, I'm within within range here so it's not that big of a deal um so what we're gonna do oh well, this is odd so i thought i was gonna run a full build with everybody but it looks as though i i, I was xing guys out so we have to do this all over again so let's uh rebuild these lineups and it, it won't take too long but again, just to kind of review uh, of, you know, who the best plays are, you know, you, you have that the key fight with the Kutalaba fight. Both both fighters have good inside the distance line. You have the Victor Altamirano fight where he has a really good line value. He doesn't have the greatest inside the distance props or metrics, but that line value is kind of tough to deny. You have the main event, which is in almost impossible to fade. I mean, you can because it's 14 fights, but aside from that, it's a very, very good fight. You have, um, uh, what's his name? Matt Frivola in, in, in the mid-range, who's got most of the upside against Farazeum. You have some decent looking underdogs, you know, Brian, not Brian Battle, um, the main event underdog, obviously, but then Brandon Allen's a good looking underdog. You have Chris Duncan's a decent looking underdog and everybody else is kind of just pivots. And, you know, just guys or girls that are going to hopefully win you to 150, which uh, is what we're trying to do. So first thing we did was we ran 5,000 lineups. And let's just make sure everybody's been accounted for here. Yeah, it looks that way. And now it's just a question of, of what, how we want to rank these things, how we want to rank the 5,000. Now, the first ranking that we have here is this MMA default ranking. And for those of you that have been watching this stream for, you know, many months, you you might notice that the MMA default setting has changed. It used to be an extremely aggressive um setting where if you went you you dove into this here, you would have seen um a a a, uh, a an ownership ding of more than minus 0.1 um and as a result it was getting just some really crazy lineups 
crazy, meaning what? I mean, they're they're more likely to be unique than others, but less likely to come in. Um, and Sabersim itself just thought it was a little bit too aggressive. So it paired it back a little bit. And what you got from this is a much less aggressive build. But in a 14-fight card, it's really not bad, okay? So I think this MMA default setting is one that you want to use at least some degree of your build here. So again, like it's important, I think, to look at this eyeball and see what we get. So you're getting that 99th percentile outcome of the lineup, which is important, you know, and they do ding it for some of it for just an ownership. So I like this. It's a question of how much you want to use. Um, I think that what I'd like to do is I want to reserve kind of, at least 33, but maybe 50 lineups for just kind of who I like. Um, and then we'll do the other hundred to let Saber Sim kind of build for us. So what I'm thinking is to have maybe 25 from MMA default, 25 from the Sims, which we're going to get to in a minute. We're going to go 25 maybe from Sheets default, which we're going to get to. And then maybe a 25 from Sim Diversity 10, um, which is, again, not that aggressive. But uh, just to kind of balance the portfolio out a little bit. Again, I don't think it's you're going to get that many lineups with like multiple, multiple, multiple dupes. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. So let's let's save like 25 lineups of this MMA default setting into the favorites. And I'm not worried too much about the min uniques here. So let's just take 25. And we're going to put these into the favorite section. And you'll see 25 ended up in there. And it's important to track how many of them end up in there because this way, if we run 25 other lineups that kind of overlap, it'll it'll pick those out, okay? Um, then let's do 25 of this Sheets default setting. Now, what this is, again, SaberSim allows you to customize your own metric here. And what I did was I actually pulled down that old sheets deep, that old MMA default setting, which was extremely aggressive, just in case I wanted to access it. So I think I'm going to use about 25 lineups from this sheets default setting. And this is kind of a crazy, you know, a crazy setting. Um, you're going to get really, really aggressive. Um, whatchamacallit really aggressive uh, uh, results. So let's go to Sheets Default. I don't even, I really don't even want to know who we have. And we're going to save this, these 25 into favorites, which should be where here. And you'll see it's 25 completely unique lineups. Um, that's why it has got 50 total now. Then we're going to go and we are going to, again, do this Sheets, this MMA to Sim Diversity 10. Now this is... I mean, Sabersim likes to think this has an upside, and I guess it does. It just doesn't really produce a lot of unique lineups. But again, to balance the portfolio out, especially on a 14-fight card, I think this is fine. So we'll put 25 of these in there. Now, again, when you see we added 25 to favorites, it only added 24 because one of them had already been used. And I think that's actually interesting that only one of them had been used. Um, so now we have 74, and now I think it is important to kind of run the Sims. Um, so let's uh, run the contest sims. And what we're going to do is add like 25 lineups to this pool that are simmed. So we're going to go here and we already saved the settings that indicated how many, uh, you know, how many entries were in this tournament and things like that. And we're going to see what we get. And again, we're not, we're not even looking at who we have. And that's 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 something I've made peace with in MMA for a while now. Is if you start worrying about who you have, you're really just going to drive yourself crazy. Just kind of trust the process. So now we'll go here, uh, throw down risk adjusted ROI, and then we'll just put top twenty five in there, and you'll see twenty three. So we have ninety seven, and then we have fifty three lineups left to be filled. And I don't know what why I like doing this, but I like to reserve like two thirds of my lineups for just kind of who I like. Um, and I'll I'll let the optimizer or excuse me, the simulator 
give me the best results from that pool. But I want to start with a very small pool for this. So let's kind of review the guys I liked, and the guys I didn't like, and we're going to have to rebuild to get 53 lineups. So let's start by taking out Roosevelt Roberts. We didn't want any of him. Uh, where is it over here? So let's, uh, should we start all over? Let's see. Hold on now. Well, we just actually. Where are we? Yeah. Oh, so let's. Um, sorry, let's get rid of these. So I do like Saint Denis, Sai, Klein, Sherry is fine. All these guys are okay. Um, I don't want to play Zayam in this in this in this in this set. Don't want to play Imavov. Don't want to play. Battle, don't want to play Duncan. Don't want to play Giuseppe or Daria. Definitely want to play Frivola. Perez is fine. Don't want to play Cornell or Cavalcante or Morales. Let's let's hold off on Barres Altamirano for a moment. Um, we don't want to play Gomez in this. We, Gomez, we don't want to play Miranda. Don't want to play Lapalus or Wong or Jung or Roosevelt Roberts. Um if you're going to play Altamirano, you're going to have to play, uh, what's his name, for leverage. So you got to add, um, what's his name? Well, first of all, you got to put Chris Duncan back in as well. And you do have to actually put Ferris. Well, you don't have to put Ferris as I am here because I don't think the role is going to be that highly owned. Where is Barres? Yeah, he's there. So we have all these. Let's apply. And let's just see what we have here. Um, okay, so this is actually pretty good. So we have now a, a, a bill that only has the guys that we want. But if we're going to do that, it's probably a chalky build. Let's let's see. Let's use that one of those aggressive um, uh, settings to make that work. So let's take, we, 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 we know the guys that we want. But let's go into, say, Sheets default, which is the most aggressive way to play from, you know. So here, you're not going to get too much Santini. Um, you're getting all this Moicano. I don't know if I want to do that. So for this group, let's just go half and half. Let's go, well, let's actually, let's spread this this out into different forms. So Sim Diversity 10. We want to do some Sim Diversities 10, some MMA default, some Sims, and some Sheets default. So let's start with the Sheets default. And again, we got to get up to 153. Let's just start by putting 10 in. So 10 Sheets default. That goes. Then we're going to go then 10 MMA defaults. And that goes... Then we're going to go 10 Sim Diversity 10s. And that goes 125. Then we're going to go into the throwdown. And we're going to go 10 there. See how many. So now we have 133. And then let's go back to the beginning. We'll go back to, again, Sheets uh, defaults. Again, that's very aggressive. Another 10. Um, yeah, another 10 for Sheets default, I guess. Actually, we have to go up to 20 because we already used 10. And save the favorites. Now we have 142, so eight more. Let's go back to MMA default. Uh, what do we go? 18, maybe? And 142. Let's do a couple more. And now we have 149. And we'll just go one more just for the hell of it from here. And we'll put one in. 157. All right, we're, we're, we're sort of in the ball game there. Okay. So let's, uh, we have 163 in favorites. So let's uh, just, we'll enter the top 163 out of those. And then we'll be kind of off to the races. Now, again, usually I will do kind of more funny business, but. I don't think you need to uh, on this card. I think that 14 fights is plenty. 
you play the good plays, you set the right settings to get you some upside. I don't think you have to be too cuckoo. Um, and that, of course, is a an analytical term. So let's uh, let's enter these into where is this? Save to my contests. Boom. And then we will be off to the races. So again, not a lot of, of, of funkiness, okay, this week. Just basically taking the best plays, but running Sims, using Sheets default, using MMA default, and, you know, keeping ourselves somewhat honest. And as you'll notice, I have no idea who I have, and that's just the way we like it. But I will say that for the, for the I mean, if you want to build something, uh, and you want to get somewhat different. Let's say you want to play the um, what you call it the uh, the five fifty five, and you want it to be somewhat different. I'll give you a couple of ideas here. I have no funds. I got to wait for my my cash is to clear. I mean, if you really want to be crazy, I think Gomez is a crazy play that could just work. Uh, Brito is going to be high owned. Nobody's playing. I mean, Gomez is going to be less than 10%. And all you need is one little bit of variance <laughs> to get that home. And I think that Zyam is actually kind of a neat little bit of leverage also. Because I think for Vola in some of the bigger binds is going to be somewhat popular. So I think Zyam, he can get a little bit of, a little bit of leverage there as well. So those are a couple of guys that you might want to consider. But that'll do it. Uh, remember, early noon slate. Uh, it should be a fun one, and uh, good luck.